This week the Lord has given us a subject to ponder and to dive into on the power of prayer, the ability to approach the throne of grace and our Father through the Lord Jesus Christ, which Hebrews calls our High Priest. There is a, a great depth when it comes to really understanding how we can communicate with the Father and how we can uh, sort so many things out in our lives if we would just take a little time and spend a little time with Jesus. I'd like to welcome you into Morning Moments with Jesus this morning. As our devotion continues, yesterday we talked about beginning our prayers. Uh, our prayer life needs to always begin with praise, with adoration to who the Lord is in our lives, who He is and how He incorporates all of the qualities that he has into our daily life. Today, we move from praise after we have praised our Lord and, and giving him the honor and glory that is due him. Before we go into asking for a lot of things, and before we even go into praying for other people, there must be a time of what I call confession and release. And what this part of our prayer life basically does is we communicate with the Lord any kind of sin that is uh, we are struggling with in our lives or any kind of emotion that may be hindering us from truly opening up and getting the blessings of the Lord and hearing our prayer request uh, and uh, heard and answered the way we need to in our lives. First John 1 9 today it says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want you to be able to get a grip on that verse this morning because so many believers live hindered lives and struggle in their lives so much simply because they can't get a hold of this verse when maybe when it comes to their past or things they've been struggling with. But if you confess, if you sit down and talk to the Lord about this issue and you're honest about it, then it says He is faithful and just to forgive you of that, but to also cleanse you of all the unrighteousness. You remember a verse from yesterday, Matthew chapter 6, when it talks about our greatest uh, aim in life should be to seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And this verse releases us and gives us the ability to be able to do that. But I want you to understand something this morning. It's not just confessing some ongoing sin in your life, but it's also confessing to the Lord your inability to handle certain things. Now this ought to speak to somebody in our Morning Moments family this morning that maybe you're struggling with always trying to control things, always trying to get a firm grip on things and, and, and be able to control the outcome. But you, you, maybe you need to get before the Lord this morning and say, you know, Lord, I confess to you this morning that I can't control everything that I am struggling with fears and concerns that I have not fully turned over to you yet. Confess that to the Lord this morning. See, that con that's confession also. And I want you to know that God cares about those things. And He wants you to talk to Him about all the things that might be hindering you from fully seeking the righteousness of His kingdom. I like what Peter writes in his first epistle, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse number 7. He says, Cast all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. So this morning, sit down and praise the Lord first and foremost in your prayer life. Then before you ask Him for anything or pray for anyone else, you need to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I need to talk to you about some sin in my life. Maybe some things that are sinful that are trying to come against your life. You're struggling with them. Maybe it's just your inability to be honest with the Lord and say, Lord, I've been trying to control too much. I've been 
trying to handle everything on my own, but I can't do it anymore. Lord, I need you to take this burden off of me. David writes in Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. I love these verses. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Confession. Then when you confess it, release it. Let God handle that part. Then you can move on with the rest of your prayer life. Because you've removed any obstacle that might hinder that from going through. Don't wait to the end of your prayer and then say, Lord, forgive me of my sin. Amen. The confession and release needs to happen before you pray for anything else in your life. So today I pray that blessing over you today. Just start by praise and then sit down and have a good honest talk with the Lord about you. Today be safe, be strong, and always be blessed. And do your very best every morning to spend those moments with Jesus. Have a great day.